Good morning. The view in Fargo still a foggy one here. We can see from our tower, uh, the camera at the top of the tower, that we've got that layer of fog that is holding on right now at the surface. But, uh, but just above that, we can see a little bit of clearing and uh, we can see that uh, the sky is on the clear side. And if we can just clear this fog, we'll end up with some sunshine to start the day, which I'm sure would be welcome to a lot of folks here this morning. And there are areas where we don't have as much fog as what we're experiencing in Fargo. You can see Grand Forks is at eight miles. A lot of 10 mile reports from Devil's Lake, Langdon and Cavalier down toward Wapaton and Fergus Falls as well. Uh, but then there's this line basically along I-94 where we're seeing low visibility. Cooperstown is at zero. Uh, the visibility report in Crookston at a quarter mile. Monoman up toward Roseau, half mile visibility in those locations. So again, there are these pockets where that fog is quite dense. The air is calm in many places. If we do have wind, it's very light and it's variable less than 10 miles per hour and temperatures are ranging from 31. So below freezing in Jamestown, where there might be a little frosting on the, some of those colder surfaces to 41 in Fergus Falls, Elbow Lake, Alexandria and Wapaton. I'll check it in at 41 degrees to start off this morning and checking out your radar and satellite map. So satellite layer, you can see where we've got some areas of fog affecting our visibility, keeping our uh, view down here. But then there are places where again, we're clear and we're not experiencing that this morning. And then you can see a few sprinkles, maybe down by Sisseton, but overall we're clear of any precipitation at the moment. That is again, want to stress the word moment because we do have more rain to our south and west. You can see over by Williston back down into South Dakota, that next system that's going to lift in and bring us more rain chances this afternoon. So right now again, looking at some 30s here in the valley, varying cloud cover. Some places are more overcast, some places again clear, but dealing with the fog. And then as we make, make our way through the morning, expect that fog to just kind of hold for a while. Eventually it does start to lift. We'll get to see more of that sunshine in some areas, not everywhere, but some of us do get to see a little sun before that next system rolls in for the afternoon. This is lunchtime. There are those clouds moving in with a few areas of rain, even at lunch hour uh, for places in southeastern North Dakota. And then this moves its way northeastward and you see more areas of rain filling in and not just rain down to the west central part of Minnesota, Lakes Country, some of those same areas that saw quite a bit of rain over the weekend. We're going to be watching out for some thunderstorm activity there. I'm not expecting severe, but still some lightning, some heavier downpours in some of those areas in places like Wadena, Fergus Falls, Elbow Lake, Alexandria area. Well, that's where the best bet is. Heading into this evening, still seeing some areas of rain as well. Temperatures will range from some upper 40s to some upper 50s for your highs this afternoon. And then moving into tonight, the rain eventually moves to the north and east overnight. We'll start off our Wednesday morning and many places on a quiet note, still maybe kicking out some of those light showers in the early morning hours on Wednesday before we get to enjoy some nicer weather. So here's a look at our rainfall potential. This is through four o'clock, so there are a lot of areas that won't see anything through that time frame, but then there will be spots in southeastern North Dakota that will. And then eventually heading into this evening and overnight, we'll have most places see at least a little bit of rain. Some of us may end up getting a half inch of rain or a more in some spots in green. Wednesday will be quiet and then there's more rain to come for the end of the week. So we'll talk more about that coming up in your 11 day planner and your forecast is brought to you by Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. The crack keeps growing. The doors and windows stick. This must be very frustrating. Almost no one connects that these are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation, but it's okay. We got it. Oh. This is done growing in this house. Okay. The effects of water can be surprising, but at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free. So here's a look at that extended planner. Now we're looking at some warmer days ahead compared to our recent 40 degree days that we've been experiencing today. Slightly warmer, but again, watching for rain. Wednesday looks pretty good. It will be partly cloudy temperatures more into the 60s on Wednesday and then Thursday. That next round moves in when maybe even as early as late Wednesday night and then continuing into Thursday and lingering even into Friday. Some more kind of soggy, gloomy weather here to round out the week. Saturday, I do think we'll see some partly cloudy skies 
skies and Sunday has the potential to be uh, pretty decent for most of the day, but we'll have to keep an eye out for a chance for some rain Sunday and then moving into Monday as well. But at least we're warming up. We're getting into some 60s to around 70 degrees next week as well. So making that transition into May with uh, some, you know, milder weather and some more rain showers to help green things up. <laughs> the grass is looking awfully green right now, it though, is. I will say. And now we're getting to the point where we're like, okay, when can I get out and cut yeah. that grass? Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow will be one of those days, I think, that you'll have a good shot at it. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Lisa.